Welcome to Use Shepard 220 Fingerprint Lock. Developed independently, Hongda series of fingerprint locks are patented products which combine the optics, mechanics, electricity, and algorithm as an integration. Its features are high security, easy to use, and code option. This kind of lock can be utilized in offices, homes, banks, stores, labs, etc. Now I will explain the installation and use of Shepard 220 fingerprint lock. First of all, I will show you the complete product and its accessories of Shepard 220 fingerprint lock. It covers outside unit, inside unit, rubber seal on outside unit, rubber seal on inside unit, override keys, latch strike lining box, spring, square spindle, latch, latch strike, wood screws, pinch screws, CD disc, pass, guarantee, packing list, user manual, guide for installation, and cutout sheet. Now I will show you how to install the Shepard 220 fingerprint lock. Before installation, please prepare the following tools. Screwdriver, chisel, electric drill, 8mm, 25.4mm, 54mm egg wiles, step by step. Now let's begin to install the lock. First, start to drill and select the proper cutout sheet between 60mm and 70mm for your door. Then, cut this sheet along with underline to paste them on the surface of the door and on the jam correspondingly. Please make sure the holes on the surface of the door and on the jam are parallel. Second, drill a hole with 54mm egg wile and two holes with 8mm egg wile on the surface of the door following the cutout sheet. Drill a hole with 25.4mm egg wile on the jam, which is horizontal with holes on the surface of the door. Meanwhile, you need to chisel a 3mm groove in depth. After you finish this, please adjust the latch between 60mm and 70mm properly. The latch is set at 60mm position when shipped. If you want to adjust it to be at 70mm, please turn it to the following arrow direction. After finishing the adjustment, please insert latch into the hole on the jam and fasten it with those two wood screws. Now I will show you how to install the outside unit. Please put rubber seal on outside unit and insert the screw spindle into holes on the latch. Do make sure whether the wire is held out at the bottom of latch. After this completion, we'll begin to install the inside unit. First, insert the square spindle into the hole on latch and reach the end of the groove on the outside unit. Second, take off the battery cover and put rubber seal on the inside unit and then put the spring into the groove on the inside unit. Next, connect the wires between the outside unit and the inside unit. At the same time, make sure the square spindle is rightly in the groove on the inside unit. Finally, fasten the two M4 by 35 pinch screws throughout battery compartment. The two M4 by 48 pinch screws near the inner handle. After you finish all of this, put six standard AA batteries on the battery compartment and fasten battery cover with 3M screw. Thus the installation of lock set has been completed. Next, we begin to install latch strike and latch strike lining box. First, please make sure the correct center of latch strike on the jam according to the position of latch. And then chisel a square slot with 29 millimeters, 33 millimeters, 17 millimeters in length, width, and depth, respectively. Next, chisel a 1.6 millimeter slot to match the square groove properly. Finally, install the latch strike and latch strike lining box and fasten screws. After installation of the lock, we should check to see if it works from the following steps. Under the conditions of being not any fingerprint or code, the latch can expand and contract freely when you turn the inner handle. The latch cannot move freely when you turn the outer handle. When you turn the protective cover to power on the system, the lock can be unlocked automatically and the latch can expand and contract freely before the system turns off.